Hi, I'm Jerry Saltz. I'm the art critic for New York Magazine. Welcome to the Murakami Show at the Brooklyn Museum. Actually, the title is not just Murakami, it's Copyright Murakami. And this little C says a lot about everything you're about to see. In back of me is Mr. Pointy, a gigantic sort of Buddhist meets surrealist, meets Hindu, Shiva, destroying, making, goddess. Everything's got eyes, as if everything is being seen and everything is all seeing at the same time. Murakami takes this fusion of art and commerce another step. Here in the middle of his show is a real boutique selling Murakami-designed Louis Vuitton. Well, purists get upset about this, but I think with Murakami it's pretty clear that it's all one thing to him. There is no separation between what's going on in here and what's going on there. Two words, eye candy. This room is completely wallpapered in happy flowers. You want eye candy? You want visual pleasure? Murakami is your man. In some ways, Murakami is this big stage director, a set designer. All he really wants to do is kind of give you a place to kind of go, oh, wow. He wants to keep you on an eternal surface. He's not that interested in what's underneath and the intense, dark, deep meanings of it all. This is about art that kind of goes like this. You have this young girl with gigantic breasts, with udder-like nipples, exploding milk, and she's kind of jump roping over the milk. On the other side of the room is My Lonesome Cowboy, named for Warhol, of course. And here you have a young sort of space boy having this mass ejaculation that flies up around him like a lasso, which he sort of twirls around as if to kind of throw on you. They face each other in this kind of strange, infantile, godlike palace of Kama Sutra and sexuality. Murakami's work looks like it's made by a machine, but it's not, it's made by hand. In fact, he employs as many as 100 people. After he lays out the design, they paint it over and over and over, making it absolutely perfect. It never gives up its illusion, no matter how close you get to this painting, or most of Murakami's paintings, you can't see the human touch in them. Clearly, Warhol is the role model for Murakami. Like Warhol, Murakami wants to make an art of eternal surface. Like Warhol, Murakami is interested in consumerism, of turning himself, in a sense, into a product. If that is not to your liking, you can still like Murakami because he loves color, he gives your eyes a good time, and keeps your mind kind of switched off as you kind of drift away into the psychedelic uh, retinal explosion. If you do like this kind of thing, it's like cotton candy. You can just eat it up.